द प्रोपगेशन ऑफ एलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक वेव डिपेंड ऑन दि प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ दि वेव अंड द इनविरोमेंट वैरिटी यूज रेडियो वेव ऑर्डनरली ट्रावल इन स्ट्रेट लाइन एक्सप्ट वेर द एर्थ अंड दि अटमास्फियर आलटर द The radio wave is propagated from the transmitting to the receiving antenna mainly in three different waves so it's of three different ways depending on the frequency of the wave they are surface wave propagation or ground wave propagation the second one is space wave propagation and the third one is sky wave or ionospheric propagations Let's move on to the propagation of electromagnetic waves. How the electromagnetic waves are working? So, ground or surface waves are the radio waves which travel along the surface of the earth. You are able to see the ground or surface wave radiation from an antenna. This is surface wave. ground wave propagation takes place when the transmitting and receiving antennas are close to the ground ground wave propagation is of prime importance only for medium and long wave signals all medium wave signals are received during the day time use surface wave propagation If we talk about the space wave propagation radio waves propagated through the troposphere of the earth and they are known as space waves I'm trying to show this is troposphere with 5 km extent from the earth and this is your stratosphere a 20 km we got ozone layers so troposphere is the portion of the earth's atmosphere which extends up to 15 km from the surface of the earth this is your troposphere the space wave usually consists of two components they are a component which travels straight from the transmitter to the receiver a component which receiver which after reflection from the ground it is received at the receiver the space wave propagation is particularly suitable for the waves which is having a frequency above 30 megahertz now let's talk about the space wave propagation further so this is your space wave propagation above the earth you are able to see the waves are navigating propagating this is the transmitter end and this is the receiver end so we'll talk about the other one that's sky wave or ionospheric propagation what is it the ionosphere is the upper portion of the atmosphere which absorbs large quantities of radiant energy like ultraviolet rays cosmic rays and other important rays from the sun becoming heated and ionized this ionized region contains of free electrons positive and negative ions so radio waves is the short wave band radiated from an antenna at large angles with the ground travel through the atmosphere and encounters the ionized region in the upper atmosphere so under favorable circumstances the radio waves get bent downwards due to the refraction from the different parts of the ionized region and again reach the earth at a far distant point here is a typical example such a radio wave that's called as a sky wave and such a propagation of radio wave is known as sky wave propagation 
Long distance radio communication is thus possible through the sky wave propagation. So the typical example is your radar communication.